The following video features activities performed in controlled environments by knowledgeable persons. Do not attempt to duplicate, recreate, or perform the same or similar activities at home as personal injury or property damages may result. Isaac, it'll be fine. The persons shown in this video and any contributor are not liable for any such injuries or damage. All Isaac It'll Be Fine content is for entertainment purposes only. Isaac It'll Be Fine makes no representation about the sufficiency of any safe precautions and equipment used in this video. Isaac It'll Be Fine makes no representation about the sufficiency of any safe precautions and equipment used in this video whatever that means. Guys, I've got a problem. I've got all this grass I gotta mow. So in today's video, I'm gonna be building the fastest lawnmower on the East Coast of North Carolina. Let's do it. So the idea is to remove this, and we're going to put it aside, and we are going to install this, and we're going to build off of it. I'm thinking welding on to something, something around here. We'll weld it up, and then we're going to be coming off the side. And uh, I'm going to just weld everything solid right now. But eventually, the thing about chopping this right here and making a sleeve where I can adjust it up and down for different vehicles. But for right now, we're going to be using this Jeep, just because it's easier. So I started drilling out this. On the other end, I ran into a little bit of trouble. So I just dug into my, my collection of stuff and I've got this piece right here that I'm not even using anymore. So uh, why not use this? So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put the pin in it. I'm gonna clean up a place for us to weld to it. I'm gonna weld this on there and then we're gonna put the channel on it and go from there. center of it and I'm going to push it up against this thing and I'm going to weld it up there and then I'm going to drill a couple of holes in it and that's where I'm going to be attaching the blade at and I'm going to do the same for both sides so maybe one day I'd want to change sides 
So, this is what I got. It's quick and dirty. I was planning on going a little bit uh, fancier, but let's be honest, this is not really the best idea I've got. So, you know, it is what it is. All right, so we've got uh, 50 inches, so 25 inches would be center. And we are right there at center right now. So all we got to do is keep this where it's at. I'll put it up and tack it. Okay. There we go. There it is. Not exactly centered, but you know what? It'll be fine. I'm just going to send it. not too bad. It might grab the ground. Here. Okay. You know what? I'm going to have to take this outside because all of a sudden it's starting to get big. So let me pull this thing outside. big piece of metal right here and this is going to be shooting out the side and I'm going to have two bolts in this and then this is going to be the sharp piece I kind of like the idea of it being a little bit too low unless there's problems because uh, I don't want it up so high where I, I catch it with my, my shin or something. Because I want this to be really, really, really sharp. A little bit. Alright. So let's drill some holes and then I'll uh, work on sharpening things up. Alright. So the idea is I'm going to put a smaller bolt in it because if I hit something, I'd rather it shear off. Okay, it's picking it up. <sighs> All right, cool. Okay, so I need to put another bolt, maybe two bolts, one right there in the middle and one right here at the end. And then I can sharpen this blade real tight. And uh, give that a shot.
And now we're gonna sharpen this thing up. Okay, I've got something I can work with. I'm a little worried about the length, but this is six feet out from my Jeep. And the last three feet is just the thin bar. So I'm a little worried about the bar uh, twisting, but it's sharp. And uh, I already know how I'm gonna pick it up. I'm gonna wrap a strap around this and my bumper and it's going to pull up on this bar to get the desired height. So, that being said, I think it's time for a test. What do y'all think? Is it going to work? I don't know. We'll find out. So I'm out in my driveway, and as you can see, there's some grass that is actually taller than me out here. Perfect example over here. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take my Jeep and we're going to drive down this mile long driveway and I'm going to try to scare off any wildlife that's out here because I mean I don't want anything to get hurt. So we're going to hop in my Jeep and uh, make some noise. Get out of here! Get out of here! Come on! Move on! Get out of here! Get out of here! Woo! Woo! Yeah, buddy! Better move on! Boy, this stuff's thick! Thick! area right here where they like to hang out. Get out of here! Move on! Yo! Alright, so I'm going to turn around. So this is right at one mile. Whoop, whoop! My horn don't work. I'd blow the horn if the horn worked. Yo! Move on! So anyhow, uh, 
I think, yo! I think I'm gonna make it about halfway down the lane and it's just gonna, it's just gonna get messed up. Yo! Uh, another thing I'm worried about is, uh, yo! I built the thing a little low to the ground, so I'm thinking that when I start hitting bumps, it's gonna hit. And, yo! Uh, I'm, I welded it up where the welds aren't very big. Yeah! And uh, I'm afraid that it's also going to possibly break away. So either the tip, yo, the tip is going to break or uh, or it's going to shear off. Uh, but I ought to, yo, I ought to see enough, you know, to see if it actually works. You know, yo, like six foot or something that'll be plenty to see you know if i have a six foot long bald spot i'll be happy Yo! all right so i'm almost to the end of the lane i'm gonna turn around and we're gonna fit this thing right on the back of this thing and i'm gonna hit the gas i'm gonna go to town all right so I'll see y'all at the start line. Turning around. <sighs> Can't wait to see what this thing will do. All right, so we're gonna park here for a minute. We're gonna hook up and we're gonna hook up the the old John Beer or the Isaac Deer, whatever. So what do you think I ought to call this thing? I think the John Beer is actually pretty good because I mean I alcohol might be involved on this project. take into consideration the the arch of the driveway okay guys here goes nothing here we go I think I might have lost something. I lost something. The breakaway. It broke away. One more chance of this. So, we are gonna hook up one more time. As soon as I get turned around. So everything's welded up. I'm not sure exactly where the next week weak point will be but we'll find out 
Uh, I'm a little unhappy with the uh, distance that it's sticking out now, but this is all for science. If it does any cutting, that'll be great. That's kind of what my thought is. If it like cuts, then, then it's worth revisiting. But if it doesn't cut, it's not worth it. I'm, I'm just wondering how much speed I'm going to need to get it to uh, actually cut all this tall grass. starting to get dark. I need to go ahead and get this done. Let us give this a try. Seat belts on. Okay, here we go. E brake is on. That was the stupidest idea I've ever had. I noticed that the uh, the blade is is bent. Holy! Stupid idea. This was a stupid idea. All right. Well, it's a it was a nice science experiment, but uh, an incredibly stupid idea. Not only did I put myself in danger, but I could have uh, wrecked my Jeep.
camera. Are you okay? I think you're okay. <laughs> the, the teddy bear. Oh wow, froggy. We got one casualty. The other one's still hanging in there. Stupid. Stupid idea. And here's here's another problem that I have. Getting all this stuff off. See if I can fit, fit through the fence with the blade on the back. Oh, I can't. I don't think I recommend doing this. It was what I'm going to call a complete failure. Because the, the blade, even the heavy duty blade, it's like quarter inch thick right there with a thinner blade on top so this bottom piece was supposed to keep this from bending and as you can see it has got a huge bend in it i mean it was a great try i'm i'm probably going to keep this here and i'll probably just run up and down the path every once in a while just to knock down the big stuff but it definitely has not it doesn't work as good as I was hoping. But, that being said, I guess that's it for this video, guys. Don't do anything stupid like I do. I come close to uh, putting my di uh, Jeep right into the ditch, swamp, and uh, I would have been very upset for that. So, guys, thanks for watching. Thank you for 100,000 subscribers. More car content coming your way guys i'll catch y'all later thanks for watching even this stuff